Hi guys, it's Stacy from Clothes Live On, and we are doing my second Thread Up Denim Rescue box. So these are just basically mystery boxes that are different categories. So I had ordered two of the denim boxes because really those were the only ones that they had in stock that I was interested in. So I opened my first one on Wednesday and that wasn't a great box. I had ordered that one when they had a sale on the denim rescue boxes though. So that one was on sale for $40 plus shipping. This one I paid full price for the first week that we went into quarantine. So I want to say I got it on like the 16th or something like that around there. Um, and I paid full price for this which was $48 for a 30 pound box plus $5.99 shipping. And um, this one came from Georgia, the other one was from Phoenix. This one is in an unbranded box, so normally ThreadUp comes in a logoed box. This isn't a regular brown box. I don't know if that'll make a big difference or not. I might be giving you all these details and then it's just as crappy as the first box, but I'm hopeful that maybe since I bought this one earlier on and I bought it not during a sale that it will be better, but we will find out because that last box was not great. <laughs> and I can link that video and the cards for you guys if you haven't seen the first box. Okay, we are starting off this time with Levi's. These are size 12. I feel like they are kids Levi's because um, that's definitely not an adult size 12. So these are the 511 Slim. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure that these are kids jeans. All right, another pair of black jeans. These are Mossimo. I kind of just expect Target jeans in these boxes. These are the high rise jegging crop. Um, I don't know, that could be a more promising style. You know, jegging is still one that people tend to like. High rise is definitely a selling point for people. So this is an eight regular. Next is Destiny. These are like capris. Don't know this brand, but honestly like not a fan of them right off the bat. They are a seven slash eight. All right, next we have Express Jeans. I don't know, the backs are kind of cool. Again, not really stuff that I sell. Um, these are a size four. They're like I guess it's like a straight leg. I thought they were boot at first, but these might be more like a straight leg jean. Uh, next is D jeans. Um, I know this is not a good brand. This was sold at Burlington Coat Factory. Um, so these are like a straight leg, black jean, size eight. I don't know. Uh, luckily I'm done buying mystery boxes because I have some free inventory that I got because, ooh, it's going rough. Okay, this one has tags on it, um, but the brand is just Bebop, so I feel like that's nothing special. I just want one good pair, guys. That's all I want. All right, Lee, also Capri. Capri is just like not good. I feel like no one wants capris really. Um, this is a six medium. Okay, American Eagle, a little more promising, at least a brand that sells for me. Definitely the older style inside, but hey, this is the skinny super stretch and they are missing their size tag. So I'm gonna have to measure it. Oh wait, sorry, it's on this side. They are a size six. These are from 2013, so they are older, but at least it's a brand that I've had success with. All right, more Old Navy. This is a denim skirt. It is new with tags, but it's still just Old Navy, so it's nothing super exciting. Size six. At least they have better sizing. It's not all like zero and two petite. All right, this is H&M. More capris. This is a box full of capris. I hate it, honestly. I don't want to be selling capris. Size 28. Um, they do have a button fly. I don't know. What's there to say about that? I'm filming this the same day as the first one, so I feel like I'm just in a mood because I just want it to be better. All right, these are Levi's. 
Um, they are the 529 curvy skinny leg size 6. You know, Levi's aren't bad. You know, I'm not mad about that. I feel like, you know, I can get at least $15, $20 for them. I feel like more like the $20 range probably. Alright, another Old Navy denim skirt. That's kind of cool with like the superheroes on it though. I mean, it's still Old Navy. I know I won't get a ton for it, but at least it's something. Um, it looks like it came from like a resale shop and they wanted $25 for it. That's crazy. Um, I can't find the size on this though. I think it's gonna have to be measured for size because there is not a size on this skirt that I can find. All right, more Levi's and I think these might be men's Levi's. I could totally be wrong. Um, they are a low boot, so actually they probably are women's. Um, they are a size 30. All right, these are maternity, not something I really ever sell pink blush which I think is like a boutique maternity brand and they have like they're distressed they have raw hems I don't know they're pretty stylish I guess in that sense um I still don't expect like a ton for them but it's something and these are a size 25 all right next ones are vintage America blues I don't know anything about these um, these are a 32 by 32. They do seem like men's jeans to me. Next, Gap jeans. Uh, just, they are a jegging jean size 30. Nice dark wash. I don't know. I think that, I think these might be a little more current. Um, so I think I can probably get more of like a $20 price range for that, but don't quote me. Bullhead, which I believe is like sold at PacSun. So these are just little cutoff shorts. I mean, my closet can use more shorts. They are the slouchy short size zero. I know I won't get a lot for this, like probably 15, 10, 15 dollars for these, but hey. All right, Hollister jeans, definitely not something that I would be inclined to grab. And these are a size 9 long, just like a skinny jean. I just want something that's so exciting, like Mother or Good American. Um, but we have Massimo. Another denim skirt. Okay, I would not get another one of these boxes. Between, like, the chambrays from the first box and now I'm getting a bunch of denim skirts. It's just not my vibe. All right, these are uh, Riders by Lee, I guess. And the size tag is very worn out, so I don't even know what size they are, but they do seem to be like a plus size. Another pair of Levi's. These are the 512. They are straight jeans, um, a size eight. Next, we have Refuge. This is a brand, again, I see out thrifting a lot and I never grab it. This is a size nine, so they are juniors and they are Capri, so they are like extra not good in my opinion. All right, these are White House Black Market, the skimmer size eight jeans. I don't know anything about their jeans. Oh, and they're kind of cute. They have like zippers on the ankles. I like that. Hopefully those are worth a little bit more than some of the other ones I've gotten. All right, another pair of Refuge jeans, size 10 on these. These are seven jeans and they have embroidered back pockets. And then these are a size 27. All right, we have another pair of maternity jeans. These are loft, loft petites, so they're like maternity and petite, and I can't find the size on them. They're just like a skinny jean. Another pair of loft jeans with the pocket inside out. Uh, these are a size 29. Just a like skinny ankle kind of jean.
justice jeans so these are kids because justice is like the current limited too um so they are size 12 kids jeans shorts bandolina bandolino i've heard of this before um but i don't think it's anything good um these are the elizabeth ankle size 10 all right we have three more pairs on top is American Eagle. More exciting because this is current tag American Eagle. These are jeggings. All right, these are from Sing. This is probably the most exciting thing in the box. Size 8 short. And these are from 2018, so they definitely are a little more current. Um, high rise jegging does better for me, but I will take these because I can sell these really easily for like $20. All All right, Tommy jeans, and this is another denim skirt, like a longer denim skirt with a slit in the front, size seven. So this is a junior's. And lastly is Massimo. So these are a size eight regular mid-rise straight jean. So this box is better than the first one. Like I would say for sure this box was better, but it still wasn't great. I still didn't get anything um, too exciting. I think the only thing that I for sure would have picked up in a thrift store is those black American Eagle jeans because they are the current tag and a jegging and that is definitely something that I source. So I guess at least in this box I got one thing that I know I would pick up in a thrift store. Everything else is still questionable. Um, I still have to sort all this stuff and decide what I'm actually selling, what I'm gonna put into a donate pile, all of that, I don't know. Um, would not be buying another one of their rescue boxes while we're in quarantine. I think they're probably as pressed for inventory as anyone else and they're getting rid of junk. And you know, I've historically seen the boxes be better, but that's probably because they were getting so much in all the time. Um, so I would just be weary of the boxes right now. Like I did want a shoe box or a jewelry box if they came back in stock and now I'm just a little like unsure if I would do that at this point. Um, I'll, I'll stick with the free inventory I've been getting because even if my free inventory isn't good, at least it was something I didn't pay for because I feel like these boxes weren't cheap for there to be like really not anything great. Between the two boxes, I spent about $100, and um, I got a lot of jeans out of it, or a lot of denim stuff, but I would have never spent $100 on all of this, like, on my own. Definitely not, so I don't know. It is what it is. Like I said in the last video, I can't be mad about it because I chose to buy a mystery box, and you get what you get, but it's not something that I would do right now. I would rather... Um, find other ways to be sourcing online or um, asking my neighborhood people to do porch pickup donations, which is what I have been doing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video regardless. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.